Marcellus as the beautiful nation of France. Now when we left off, we were trying to vassalize this cute little nation here, Navarra, so we can get to the territory next to Spain. So, and while that was happening, there's this war that Burgundy, our rival, is in uh, against Provence and Lorraine. And this looks like looks like King Philip III is winning, is win winning against me today. So, and here's our powerful army, 21,000 men, just chilling in Paris, you know, enjoying French cuisine. One of my favorite cuisine. <laughs> anyway, we have our naval maintenance up, so we can trade power in the Bordeaux trade node. And I, and I think we're the leader in the Bordeaux trade node, aren't we? Yep, it says France right there. Great. So, I think. So, right now we're improving relations with Navarra. So, I think. Or, 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 yeah. So, our next move is to wait for this war to finish. So we can pick the weakest one, because all these countries are going to be weak, because you know they just fought this war, they're tired. So and we're going to jump right in. So let's see what happens. Let's see imperial th and authority is positive. Austria is probably going to get elected as the, as the emperor. So let's just, it's just a waiting game now. And let's just see the outcome of this war. Oh, wow, look at Provence, or, or Brittany's uh, two star general right there. That, that's good. Anyway, I think we're at our force limit, right? Or, or a little bit above, 40 out of 38. Okay, that's not bad. So, let's, uh, oops. what's this? We have gained a million rival. Exile. Okay. Oh, the Pope has exo communicated Aragon. That's that's good. So we have a Castus Belli against Aragon. Yeah, and they're not even allied with anyone big. Well, oh, well, they're well besides like they have a personal union over in Naples, which is which doesn't do much because um. They're way over there. Anyway, we have too many military leaders. I don't care. We, um, oh, I like those two star generals. Let's see. Uh, ooh, uh, uh, dispute of secession. Let's see. Austria has no legal heir. We could possibly get a first union over them. Let's see. Okay, upon inaugurated, say, upon monarch death, a, a noble from the house of Valois secedes to the throne of royal marriage. Charles is the seventh of Valois succeeds to the throne, but uh, that's probably not going to happen. Like we're probably not, well, it's probably not going to happen. Let's see what else? England, no legal heir, but we didn't have a royal marriage with them. Let's see, Bohemia, no. Antwerp, no. Luxembourg. Where is this? Oh, Navarra. Oh, wait a second. Navarra has no legal heir. How old is the king? 48. Okay. Well, what else? Oh, oh, Scotland too. Mm-hmm. Well, a lot of this, a lot of it is just waiting now. But, but I'm just curious to see how big Aragon's army is. Let's see, military armies. Aragon. Where's Aragon? Aragon. Let's see. They have 21,000 men. We have 50,000 men. We could take them. But mm, that's a, that's that's really interesting because uh, that would be awesome. Okay, I still want to wait for this war to finish. I still want, I still want this war to finish. Mm, that that could be a possibility. We're making money here. Mind power is good. And you know we're making money. Champagne. Yeah. Good. Look at all that income. 
I, I don't want to build anything. Claims fabricated. So what? I don't like you, England. Free ally too. Leinster, Ulster, and Portugal. Well, I know Leinster and Ulster are both are those two Irish nations up there, and they're the one province minor, so they wouldn't do anything. If I Port Portugal might might be able to come over like through here if I did want to reclaim these provinces uh, up there and down here. But um, let's just wait. Let's see how much. Okay, 56 more. Okay, once. Once uh, Navarra gets to 190 opinion of us, we're going to offer um, the vacillation, and they will accept. And then 10 years, we will annex Navarra, and then we will, then we will have su successfully uh, conquered Navarra, not through mil not through the military, but diplomatic. Lost trade is really burning. That sucks. That's okay though. I'm still wondering about this war. Let's see. Burgundy's winning. Who started this war, I wonder? Attacker. So, Bur the Burgundian conquest of Barwa. So, Burgundy's probably gonna take that. Ooh, all of a sudden. <laughs> the Papal State is requesting you aid the Papal Provence and Lorraine. Okay. Um, you know, I will accept, actually. I'm going to raise maintenance right now. You know what? Uh, yeah. I'm sieging there. Okay. Yep. What damage could they do? Nothing. Nothing yet. Okay, I'm going to accept. Put on some line. Okay, let's see how this goes. I'll move this to the stack. Let's let's press play. So they're moving the army into all all around all lands. So I'm gonna actually go for this province here. I'm actually fight them, or no, or actually they're gonna you know, back off. That I'm actually gonna get that that war up there. Okay, guys, this is our first war. Let's see how this goes. We're losing money. Well, we have plenty of manpower. Easy. We won that. So we should be able to get that. We're, we're losing currently. Oh, Burgundy's gonna mess up that 7th stack right there. That's Cardinal Minister. Oh, I'll do what happens. It's the ability to cost my fire minus 5% missionary strength. That's good. It's good. It's good. It's all good. Temp or Temp Prestige. I think these are all good. Mm, yeah, when the uh, wait, but how long? Fourteen sixty-six. Actually, I think I would take the. Prestige. Wait, this, this is kind of tough because prestige goes down. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'll take this one. It's fine. Just in case some heretics pop up. Or like or the Reformation starts really. I'm not sure when the Reformation starts, but I know it's it, it, well. I know it's in the 1500s. I forgot the exact date. So uh, let's move this this stack. I'm gonna equip you with this guy. This 19 stack to down here. Oh, the oh that's not gonna do much. Well, when that war is over, Provence. Or like all the provinces of Provence are going to be open. Well, maybe Brittany might take this province, Anjou, but these ones might be lifted up, and I might be able to go for them. Well, let's just send this 19 stack down, down here. France occupied Maine, good, 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 good. And you know, I'm actually gonna send this 20 stack, equip you with this guy. Uh, oh, actually, the Metz is being sieged by by someone by Burgundy. Okay, never mind. <laughs> like Burgundy is doing like all the fighting for us. That's cool. But until they peace out, that's gonna be. But yeah. But let's see. If we're fighting. We're just Provence and Lorraine. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm 
gonna send me in the middle of France, just in case. So like I'm in the center of everything. How many troops do they have? Oh, nothing. Look, they... 45,000 men, or infantry, 16,000 cavalry, horses, no infantry, no cavalry. <laughs> Who do you think's gonna win? Uh, actually, I'm gonna, yeah, just, well, we're fishing already. Wow, okay, I'm gonna send you down here. Uh, it sucks that we're losing money. We're just waiting now. Oh, Brainy just fe um, silly finished the siege of Anjou. Good. I'm sure like war exhaust or like their war enthusiasm is like starting to break really down because they're occupied with two wars, <laughs> Provence and Lorraine, especially. Let's see Paris. Uh, nice. Somehow we're losing the war. Well, what's the war goal again? Take Provence. This. Well, Burgundy's gonna take it. So. We'll, we'll. We'll wait for the. For Burgundy's war to finish so we can get to go in there. No, I'm actually gonna just, like, when. When Burgundy leaves and when they peace out with Provence, I'm gonna go right into there and take that for myself. Before that 18 stack for us. I'm gonna try at least. But I need to be really quick. <laughs> Walls breached. Keep you there. Okay. Progress is at minus 42%. Uh, we'll just wait. Keep Navarra? 40 more? Okay. Keep it coming. Yes, I know we're in a war. Austria, Scotland. Still, Austria has no legal heir. How old? Oh, 31 years old. No. Oh! I think, I think you're gonna make it before us. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, I, yeah. I'll, I'll go siege that province there. So, did Brittany. Oh, Brittany took Anjou. Okay. Lothringen. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I know diplomats of sense. What, what was my mission again? It's been a while since I played. Rival Genoa, uh, objectives. How? 50 more. Uh, I can't, uh, can I really wait? Papal States. No, I'm gonna recall that guy. So let's see what we can get. I want that province. What? What the? Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna help up without siege, so it goes by a little quicker. So we can just get this war over with.
sorry about that, guys. Um, my dad walked in accidentally to the back, so, so he wanted to ask me a question. I forgot that I was recording. So, um, sorry about that interruption. Uh, let, let's continue with this. So, we're uh, waiting for that siege. Navarre is liking us more and more each month, and uh, we're doing good. Our, we've only lost 2,000 men to left. Ah, oh, this is so slow. You know, I, I hate um, at the beginning of every Europa game because, because like, sieges take way too long. Way, like, so long. Because, I mean, the technology is so, so bad back then. The military technology is so bad. And, um, and just, like, there's like no problem. It just took a long time. I'm actually going to fall on my force. It's not, it's not necessary to keep any of my force because I have no men to save. So, so I'll, well, I also need to save some money. <laughs> but t how the heck are you using? Okay, I'm actually going to um, ask permission from Burgundy to cross the borders into um, into uh, into uh, Lorraine. I don't think they're going to. Uh, nope. Yeah, they're not going to accept Savoy. Savoy. You know, I'm glad I didn't rival Savoy because I remember in the first episode I was thinking of rival. Rivaling Savoy, and I and I said no. <laughs> so uh, they're gonna accept. I need to get over there somehow. Yeah, I need help with that siege. Uh, yeah, I feel bad for that uh, three stack from uh, Rubino and uh, military access, please. How does that work? Wait, so I can pass through Burgundy. You know, I'm still, guys, I'm still new to this game. Is it like something like if you're at war, you can go through the whole Europe because you have a excuse that you're at war with another nation? Because apparently, I can cross over Burgundy. I still don't know how that works. I need to you know, research that. <laughs> uh, well, I'm gonna actually decline that, or I'm gonna cancel both the taxes. Um, it's just, uh, it's unnecessary. Oh, auto save. <laughs> because if I, because that just takes up my, uh, my diplo slots for, uh, just diplomatic relations. Oh my god, it sucks. I really wish I had cannons. Oh, uh, man, cannons are awesome. Look, yeah. I mean, this this has a capital fort because it's the capital of the city, so it has to be like, a little bit longer. But it doesn't have like actual walls or anything. I guess the game just makes it do that to, uh, just for um yeah, you know, so just that. I mean, just for uh. Uh, be fair for other people. Well, there's one province miners who can't or rival. Five diplo, five prestige, 25 diplo power. Okay, that's great. Now, um, let's see. So, we don't need to lose inflation. <laughs> well, are we behind the No, we're not. But. Uh, how do you 
do some quick math in my head right now. So it takes 95. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna lose the stability. Well, I can't win everything. Well, you know what? I think I'm gonna wrap. Well, I think I'm gonna wrap it up there. And see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, and please like and s subscribe.